On to some good news on the climate front. Two-thirds of Australia's Great Barrier Reef has shown the largest amount of coral cover in 36 years. However, the Australian Institute of Marine Sciences in its annual report has said that the reef remains vulnerable to increasingly frequent mass bleaching caused by a rise in ocean temperatures. We're leaving you with this special report. Thanks very much for watching. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system, a site of remarkable variety and beauty on the northeast coast of Australia. Made of over 900 islands stretching for over 2,300 kilometers, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Great Barrier Reef contains 400 types of coral, 1,500 species of fish and 4,000 types of molas. In a long-term monitoring program of coral reefs, it was found that while coral reef recovery in the central and northern stretches of the site was very good, it contrasted with the southern region, where there was a loss of coral cover due to crown of thorn starfish outbreaks. These starfish are marine invertebrates that feed on coral, and when the conditions are right, they can multiply and devastate hard coral communities. The Australian Institute of Marine Science defines hard coral cover of more than 30% as high value. Really good news for the reef. You know, it shows that it is still a, a strong resilient system that's able to bounce back from, um, from disturbances. Uh, but, you know, you'd caveat that with the fact that we have seen the fourth mass coral bleaching event in seven years. So the, the frequency of those events is increasing, which is a major concern. And also the fact that the latest bleaching event occurred during a, a La Nina year where temperatures are meant to be cooler. So it's also indicative of, you know, increased ocean temperatures, which does cause stress to the corals and lead to the, the mass coral bleaching. In the northern region, average hard coral cover grew to 36% in 2022 from a low of 13% in 2017. While in the central region, hard coral cover increased to 33% from a low of 12% in 2019. These are the highest levels recorded for both regions since the institute began monitoring the reef in 1985. However, the southern region, which generally has higher hard coral cover than the other two regions, cover fell to 34% in 2022 from 38% a year earlier. In the northern and central regions, the growth in coral cover has been driven by Acapora corals. These are particularly vulnerable to wave damage, heat stress and crown of thorn starfish, which means that these corals will need to be protected if this growth is to be sustained. Still, the recovery comes after the fourth mass bleaching in seven years and is the first recorded during a La Nina event, which typically brings cooler temperatures. Bureau Report Vion, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.